guys and welcome back in a new video in today's video i have a really really exciting and interesting video for you and for me as always because it's going to be an unboxing of a fragrance that is like they are absolutely and it is so hyped up and this clone is just brand new 2023 um release and i'm so excited to try it and let you know about it and this fragrance is going to be alhambra glacier lenoir which means Alhambra Glacier um, Black and as you see just from the presentation this can you will know that there is a Jean Paul Gaultier like this is a Jean Paul Gaultier clone but which one it is the black bottle Le Mal Le Parfum I will leave a picture right here and I am so so excited I never been excited like for a video in my life than this because I really love this fragrance I had this fragrance and I swapped it and I really really regret um, swapping that fragrance because i really loved it and i i didn't know it's worth by that time by now but now like there is this clone and i will let you know if it's similar if it's good if it's anything and as you see just the presentation like it's a really sleek presentation to be honest the can just as heavy as the jean paul gaultier can um uh, when i remember and the name is kind of funny like glacier so Gaultier and they did right here Glacier so like you know that there is this is a clone of Jean-Paul Gaultier but it is so obvious just from the presentation and also I'm excited for another one which I'm going to upload that video of this one I will unbox it also um, today but I will upload that video later I don't want to mix things I want to give each one its time and just don't rush things out so a video of this one will also be coming after tomorrow subscribe if you want to see it and i just want to thank you for your support as always and this is called alhambra glacier bold the clone of the jean paul gaultier le beau but i don't know which one if it's le beau le parfum or le beau eau de toilette but um stay tuned i will let you know everything and yeah guys before i start just like this video so it get recommended to other people and let's start let's open this can of tuna right here Oh my god. Okay, so this is your can or your box. A really sleek, shiny black color. I like this color a lot like the gold is just shiny with the black and to let you know guys a funny thing i didn't buy this one i bought the glacier ultra which was the black bottle but i changed my mind and also i told the seller to send me the glacier ultra after changing my mind to this one and i think she just forgot and she sent me this one but it is okay i wanted to get the glacier ultra the new clone of ultramal because I want to compare it with the Rams La Chaffa and stuff and let you know but I'm, I will get that one too soon probably this week too and let you know it opens like this you should be careful with these like presentations of Jean Paul Gaultier wow and the price on this one is $20, $20 to $25 you can find but this thing this pouch like the feeling of it the bottle is so cool it's heavy like you see the coloring the, the like the texture of the bottle is like a matte touch like a like a matte touch that it has like even the look of it this is a pretty pretty good bottle to be honest guys and it has this thing right here going out it has like this um like a shapings and stuff i think it looks really good enough talk what's important is the smell but i'm also excited for the presentation it is so good and this is your um, sprayer it's uh, in a gold bottle let's check the spray and check the scent and see if it's worth it and stuff like that oh Man, this is good. Yeah. This is super good. 
it does remind me of the Jean Paul Gaultier Le Mal Parfum like but it does have at first like a like a maybe a twist okay this is super super good guys this is so similar um, honest like a honest review no hyping things up you already saw me not liking some fragrances and I said that but this is good this is for 20 25 dollars this is definitely worth the buy let me give us like a spray in the air spray is great also hell yeah yes this is what I wanted this is what I was looking for I'm so so happy with this buy it, it will remind you of the Jean Paul Gaultier Le Malo Parfum a lot like that um, what which that scent it does have not neroli but like a little bit of a uh, iris yeah the iris if you love iris the iris in the original Jean Paul Gaultier Le Malo Parfum it's not as prominent as in this one because in this one it does have a little bit more iris and vanilla is is also the same vanilla guys it is so similar I would tell that this is 95% close and this is just from the first try I think that when you give them time and let the juice like mix in inside of the bottle guys go and pick this one up you won't regret it I promise you if you like the Jean Paul Gaultier um, fragrance if you like that Le Mans line ultra Mall and stuff this is a super super good fragrance that you should pick but I think it will be a little bit expensive in the United States but wow this is super good and again what this smells like it smells like a youthful and like a mature scent at the same time the iris is prominent uh, and like a oil like not almond oil but it does have like a creamy oil maybe the vanilla oil and some cardamom and it is super super good this is guys I think that this is the best clone of the Jean Paul Gaultier Le Mans Le Parfum I, I think there are no clones except one that I saw one reviewer um, it was called Jean Gustave Le Mans or something classic or something I forgot but this is super good this is great to be honest I wasn't expecting it like to be this good like I'm just telling you Oh, okay it is so similar but it does have a twist to be honest this one seems like maybe it's a little bit fresher like it's a more of a spicier fresher with that cardamom and that it does have like a cold like a cooling feeling to it which already was in the uh, Loma Loma Parfum but in this one it is like more prominent the iris is beautiful in this fragrance what else like the um, the vanilla is creamy and there are some notes that I can't pick but I'm sure that it had coconut okay coconut a lot of coconut because when I tried the Lomala Parfum I was telling people that Lomala Parfum does have coconut because it does have that powdery sweetness of coconut with vanilla and stuff they would always let, let me know that tell me that oh there is no coconut in Fragrantica and stuff guys don't trust Fragrantica Fragrantica is not a like a, they, they can lie about the notes or they can change them because sometimes people if they see a coconut if Lomalo Parfum they posted that it does have a little bit of coconut in Fragrantica people wouldn't buy that fragrance because not too many people are a fan of coconut but some notes they hide them because they like they will um, they will people like uh, not buy that fragrance so like Tom Ford Noir Extreme does have wood but if you look it up in Fragrantica they don't say that it has wood so this is if you want to smell like a creamy vanilla with coconut with a cooling vibe of iris and just a fresh a freshness coolness about it with that sweetness powderiness undertone this is one of the best cheap fragrances you can buy and to be honest I really really love this how it is is it close to the Jean Paul Gaultier Malo Parfum I think a 95% or something it is a little bit fresher lighter and cooler it does have a twist which I love too because if you have the Jean Paul Gaultier Malo Parfum and you want to buy this one to be honest I wouldn't buy the Jean Paul Gaultier Le Malo Parfum for now because for $20 this for $20 this is already good to be honest I don't need 
nothing else. The Jean Paul Gaultier is a hundred dollars. And to be honest, it's still like um, in the air. I can smell it. It's a really nice, sweet, youthful, but uh, mature scent at the same time. I should test the longevity, the performance. Subscribe and turn the bell icon so you can get no notified when I noticed and stuff when I upload something because I will do the full review as soon as I give this maybe a two to three wearings and let you know about the scent and everything. Anyway, is it good this fragrance? Like you should pick it up definitely a hundred percent. If you love the Jean Paul Gaultier um, fragrances, if you love the La Mola Parfum especially. You will not regret this for the price you will absolutely absolutely adore this i'm telling you it is so close and so good so guys um this was the video just a first impression i will get also the ultra glacier the new ultrama clone i will do the unboxing of the glacier both the lobo clone and let you know everything anyway it's a uh, this one is a really it, it kind of blew my mind because I wasn't expecting it to be this good because it is good The quality is there. The sweetness is perfect The balance of the notes the composition the mixture and to be honest just because This one like the Lomala Parfum is a note fragrance. It's been out for two years So just for them Alhambra and Latafa and some other clones brands which they never did a clone of it Just you will know that it is a hard fragrance to clone and they gave it some time and when you give something some time and just don't rush things out you will make something perfect and that was the case for this one so guys thank you so much for watching this video um subscribe like the video and see you in the next video